So hi there again everyone, this is again Alan and welcome back to my channel. Before we start, I'd like first to make a short reminder to each one of you. Um, we are going through some challenges at the moment and this is brought by the pandemic or the COVID-19. And with this, I'd like to ask each one of us to just stay calm, relax, stay at home, be with our loved ones and families, be healthy and cooperate with the local instructions of our governments. And uh, I believe this is a great chance for us to uh, be creative, make art and bond. Just look on the brighter side and I believe if we all pray together and cooperate, we are going to get through this under God's guidance. And so today we are again having a special episode because we are going to be trying out a product that is not very much aligned with the name of this channel because we are for the first time going to be trying out gouache paints and this is Karandiash Gouache Studio. Gouache paints are opaque unlike watercolors which are transparent so I need to keep reminding myself throughout this video that we are focusing on opacity rather than transparency because um, gouache is after you know that feature so we have to maximize that characteristics um, I got this set by the way at art bar in Alabang for 1049 Philippine pesos or roughly 20 US dollars I'll be putting some links below if you happen to be interested in trying it out and also their website and upon checking their website it says here uh, that the decision to maintain traditional manufacturing methods using a natural vegetable binder guarantees even application and good light resistance economical and easy to use offering unlimited color blending options recommended for amateur artists and painting classes so this is more like a student grade paint because it says here studio I don't know if they have a professional line for this but I believe Karandash is more focused on their watercolor pencils or yeah color pencils in general and they have um, professional lines for those media they have 23 colors but I can't find the chart for that and yes yeah, it says here it's Swiss made and um, not for three years and below is this toxic they did not provide information about its toxicity but it's safe not just to uh, let your kids use this if that's the case so the box is super standard it's very compact so let's take a look what's inside so here they have an information sheet why is it saying here that it's Oh, I believe this information sheet is for gouache and acrylic products. So here are the other products. Um, they have gouache in bottles, in tubes, and in pans. And they have some sets here. And they also have some instructions on mixing and some techniques. So whenever I see these kinds of presentations, it gives me a hint that this is for you know learners or students by the way um, aside from the tubes I have also some other Karandiash items with me I have the Karandiash gouache studio in pants so I think in a separate video I'm gonna be comparing the tubes and the pants because all these five colors are also present in this set and also I have the neo color uh, number two water soluble crayons and also their museum aquarelle watercolor pencils so all of these are water based and uh, we are gonna be reviewing them in the coming weeks so now let's take a look in our tubes and uh, they're housed in this acrylic or plastic container it's very simple it's transparent obviously and um, it's nice but it doesn't actually feel very sturdy but it's okay just take care of it and the tube is obviously in uh, metal and a plastic cap in front you can find the uh, gouache the brand name it says here Geneva um, I think this is Geneva 
and the number code of the caller and the name of the caller in four different languages behind it says here deck farben i don't know what that means 10 ml or 30.34 fluid ohms and yeah it also gives here um, is this the address why is this uh, in France I don't know so anyway here are the tubes and the, <laughs> the tubes have different covers I think this one is different the magenta maybe they are made in different batches so they have different covers and of course, as usual for our sample painting and for our swatches, I'm going to be using Arches 185 cold press cotton paper. And to make this faster and easier, I'm going to be dotting down our paints. So let's begin. So now let's start swatching. So this is white. and um, it's very opaque I know white is always opaque but this is very different as compared to the watercolors of course now let's have black and this is of course, you cannot see if it's opaque because our line is black as well. But the texture is very creamy. It's very thick. And it reminds me of how my poster colors back in grade school behave. Next, we have magenta. And this is more transparent as compared to the white so if this is a little transparent is this a quality gouache or should I always expect gouache to be very opaque let me know in the comment section because I'm not very expert yet in gouache next this is cyan So this is very thick and uh, opaque. Even if I already added too much water. Lastly, we have primary yellow. So again, this is opaque. seems like all the colors are on the opaque side even if I add more water let's give uh, magenta another chance to be opaque let's add some more paints let's see yeah it gets semi opaque but still not as opaque as the other colors so here now is our swatches later on we're gonna be reacting to the selection of colors so now let's go to this chart and this chart is like a round robin of colors where each of these five colors will be blended to one another equally and so this chart is for two color combinations or mixes I think we should be just dotting down the colors in a palette
So now we are done with our chart of two color mixes and while waiting for it to dry let's now proceed to our swatches wherein we are trying to achieve some colors using three or more colors. So now let's start making a black using the CMY meaning the uh, cyan, magenta and yellow. Magenta. Our cyan and of course yellow. So I think this is the darkest that we can get, the black out of CMY. Later on we're gonna see if this is really um, near to black when it dries. Now let's make a brown using CMY plus black. But it's dark because of our lighting. Anyway, once it's dry, I think we are gonna see it's real. Um, color Now let's proceed to making a peach color using CMY plus white So I think this is almost peach now And lastly, let's achieve tan with the use of CMY and white So now I think this is our tan. It looks different on screen because of our lighting but all of these are skin colors. So now we are done with our swatches and charts. Now let's dry it to see the real appearance of the colors and the mixes. So now they are dry. We can now take a closer look on our colors. Let's check if they're chalky. So they're not chalky because my fingers did not get stains, which is a good thing. But you can see they're very opaque and that's understandable because this is gouache. We're not using watercolor this time. And when it comes to the color selection, this is very standard because we can see these colors, these four colors in our printers, inks. So automatically, they are gonna be uh, working well in making or in achieving combinations. However, it is very hard to get a very bright orange. Um, that's understandable because we have here magenta which is usually a violet pigment so it's a cool color so even if you have a very clear yellow, when you mix it with magenta, the outcome will be a little bit muted or an earthy orange, but that's fine. Anyway, we got great combinations of greens, purples, and um, we can even achieve uh, an almost red color here using the yellow and magenta and also nice pastel colors using our white. The black is very intense as you can see I almost um, had a hard time bringing out the colors out from the black or from the mixtures where black is dominant. The purple from magenta looks like the mixture of magenta and the black here. And For the blue we have an intense thalo green here. This looks like an ultramarine and this is a very deep blue and this is like a cobalt blue for our yellow yeah nice green a muted orange an earthy uh, black and a pastel yellow so the combinations are okay unless you are into bright oranges so now let's go to the swatches where i tried to mix more than three colors so here i tried to achieve black using the cyan magenta and yellow and here is what we got you can see the difference between this black and that one so this looks like a paints gray so for the brown we have a very nice uh, burnt umber brown here 
And here we try to achieve a peach color using CMY plus white. And um, this looks like a Venetian red. And uh, lastly, we have here tan. And we also used here CMY plus white, which is also a nice um, skin color. So now we are gonna make our sample painting, and uh, I'm gonna make a sunset painting here um, because sunsets have many colors and we can maximize all our five colors there. By the way, I'm gonna be speeding this up, so if you have any questions, just comment it below and I'm happy to answer as soon as I can. So let's start. Let's have a blue here. Let's achieve our purplish sky here. So this is very creamy. how this goes I did not expect to enjoy this because in watercolor I hate mixing white and you know I hate creamy texture I, I mean I, I love the creamy texture but I don't like it when uh, I use multiple pigments So now here the challenge is to achieve a warm color which is um, not easy because we do not have a warm red or a warm yellow to begin with. So I'm using white to show the sun. So now I think we're done and we just have to uh, wait our sample painting to dry before we have our final comments. So now our sample painting is dry. Let's now check if it's chalky or not. So let's rub our finger here and there. So let's see. Okay, I did not get any pigments or stains or paints. So that means that the Karan Dyash Gouache to Jochu paints are not chalky. So that's a great thing. Okay, so overall, I really enjoyed using this paint set because the texture was great. The, the paints are easy to use. They're easy to mix. And what I love uh, about these paints the most is that the color shifting is very minimal. I almost did not notice any fading or uh, changes when the colors dried, which is a very important thing to me because I love... Um, very intense colors so I'm happy to having great first impressions about gouache paints through the Karan Diash. and if you're gonna ask me would I still continue to use gouache paints I think so yeah because they're also water based and um, yeah, as I've said earlier they gave me a great impression about this medium and what else the color selection is very limited but you can still achieve a range of colors with this limited uh, selection and I don't think this deserves a comparison with our watercolor paints that we have reviewed before but because they're totally different you know mediums but I have this set that I think can be compared with this not performance wise but color selection wise and this is the Daniel Smith essential set this has six colors but only from the primary colors you can have here bright oranges because of the presence of a warm red and a warm uh, yellow for a wider range of uh, purples and greens as well if it matters to you you know getting these intense 
uh, orange I think you need to add a warm red here to achieve that or a warm yellow just a piece of advice but uh, I don't think as of the moment in the Philippines there is an available individual tube for sale so uh, I think you can order it online um, if you have questions about this of, or if you have advice um, you can comment it below this is my first gouache experience and uh, let's see if we are gonna be having more gouache reviews in the future if you want me to try some other mediums also like colored pencils uh, oil paints acrylic just comment it below and let's see so again if you have any questions suggestions comments reactions just keep them coming i am happy to have them and i'll be responding to you right away if i find time as you can see i have responded to all of you whenever i have time especially now that we are on quarantine we have very limited access uh, you know places and we are also avoiding you know getting into uh, malls and crowds to uh, take care of our health so again we have more time to make art um, you can also watch some of my videos my past videos and reviews I think we're done so again thank you for watching and see you again next week